Yeah, let's get to this topic. Let's talk about Biden and get it over with because because it's not fun. Assuming Biden wins in a landslide and that landslide destroys Trumpism, what can we get do to get re uh, ready to step into the void created and give people a rational alternative? I mean, that is a, that's a great question. Um, I mean, it assumes a lot of things because I don't think Trumpism is going to go away. I, I, I think the Trumpism, which is the real focus on uh, nationalism, on, um, on um, industrial policy, on anti-trade, on anti-immigration, on, on uh, you know, and, and mixed in with religion is not going away. I, I see its big advocates moving forward to be people like Tom Cotton, uh, Josh Hawley, and Tucker Carlson. Um, a kind of a leftist economic agenda with a nationalist right-wing social agenda. That's not going away, and the, and the battle over that will continue, and we're going to have to be players in that battle to give ammunition to whatever better elements there are within the uh, Republican Party that can fight that off. I think there are going to be two or three other elements w within uh, you know, within the Republican Party, it, it, the Republican Party is basically going to have a massive internal civil war. There are the, quote, more libertarian aspects of the party, supposedly Rand Paul and, and supposedly Lee from Utah and, and maybe Massey in the House. Um, how, to, how to tell where they go? I mean, I, 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 think, I think most of them gave in completely, uh, bought into Trumpism, and, and lost all credibility. Ted Cruz used to be a part of that group, but Ted Cruz, I think, has lost all credibility. And I don't think, uh, I don't think Ted Cruz is going to be a force in the Republican Party uh, in the future, certainly not in a, quote, libertarian wing of it. Uh, there's another wing of the, of the party, which is a, a relatively free market wing, a kind of a more traditional conservative uh, fusionism wing that wants to collect kind of the the, the libertarians with some religion, with some, um, with some uh, tough foreign policy, and that would be more the um, Nikki Haley, um, Nikki Haley wing of the Republican Party. I, I'm not sure who else to lump in there, but oh, yeah, uh, Sass. I don't know if you saw Sass. Uh, Sass came out, uh, Ben Sass came out recently, really well after, went after Trump, I think yesterday. Um, so Sass, I think, is part of that wing. I think that's the solid, pretty good, um, not great, compromising, but but basically somebody, people we can probably work with, founding fathers, uh, founding fathers' uh, ideas, and, and basically economic liberty. So Ben Sass, maybe Alan West, uh, certainly, uh, certainly Nikki Haley, people like that. Um, I, I think they, they will be the most powerful anti-Trump force within the Republican Party. Then they're the people who basically a, a nothing a nothing um, uh, Republicans. They don't stand for anything. Uh, McConnell, um, uh, you know, all, all the other Republicans, they stand for nothing. They, they're Trumpists when it's Trumps and, uh, you know, they were Bush neocons when it was Bush. They would be, that would be anybody to anything, right? They will adapt. They're complete chameleons. They stand for nothing. They are nothing. Um, and, and, uh, and, uh, they are going to be the majority, probably, that will swing with whoever whoever's going to be other ultimately win out. The rhinos, a lot of them are rhinos. I mean, they, they're whatever, whatever it is at the time, right? So I, I think the question is going to be who wins out in that battle? What can we do to provide them with intellectual ammunition? And I think that's the key. The key is to get to, try to get to anywhere from Anybody who will stand up against the Trumpists within the party, anybody who will stand for even, even just uh, lip service to free markets, um, anybody who's willing to still say, I'm, I believe in free market and free trade, and I'm pro-immigration, even if it's, I'm not you know, opening up the door, open immigration, but I'm generally pro-immigration. If people, if that wing of the party, what we need to do is try to influence them and get in front of them. And we need to be there advocating for this idea is to give them a sense that they have somebody out there who supports the better ideas that they have and, and will challenge them on the bad ideas that they have. But that is, that's going to be very difficult for us to do because we're still so small. 
But I think you on your local level, those are the kind of politicians you should be supporting. You should be avoiding the, the Josh Hawley type and, and supporting the Ben Sass type. Um, even though Ben Sass is religious, and I know he's religious and he's quite religious, right? And avoiding the rhino type and avoiding the we'll go along with anybody type. Try to find the ones that are somewhat principled, somewhat I say. It's hard to be somewhat principled, but they're somewhat principled. And who are um, supporters of the founding fathers. I think that's essential. And, and supporters of su free markets. Okay, another election question. I'm going to take the election questions that are $20 or more first. If Trump wins on day one, we can start advocating for Ben Sass and Nikki Haley or other free market people. I don't think a Trump victory destroys the party completely. We can fight to move it to something better. I, I don't think so. I, I mean, I, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. But I think it's it's the end of Ben Sass. I mean, you saw today that even somebody I don't like, but you know, but 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 what's his name from Pennsylvania? Toomey from Pennsylvania is leaving the party. I, I not only do I think that what's going to happen is that Trump is going to lose. I think I, I I think the Republican Party is going to be decimated in this election, and I think people are leaving. And you saw what happened to the Arizona senator that stood up to Trump. I mean, Ben Sass is finished if Trump wins. Ben Sass will be drummed out of the party. So Ben Sass, I met Ben Sass. Ben Sass is much better than Mitt Romney. Much better than Mitt Romney. Ben Sass is, is, is really versant in the Founding Fathers. He, um, he, he has a, a deep understanding of the role of government. Mitt Romney was a nothing. Mitt Romney was a rhino. He was a businessman, but he, had, he didn't have the intellectual stature or, or the knowledge. I mean, Ben Sass knows a lot. I mean, again, he's religious and he's problematic in all kinds of ways. But in terms of his knowledge of the founders, his knowledge of ideas, his, I think, principled stand, um, he, is, he is far better than Mitt Romney. Uh, Christian, thank you. Really, really appreciate that. This is on top of, of the match we already have. So this is taking us well over $1,000. Thank you, guys. This is, uh, this is amazing. I really appreciate the support. Uh, this is uh, the best uh, Super Chat show we've had since, uh, you know, uh, early, early September. Um, so I don't think Ben Sass, Nikki Haley have a chance. Not only that, I, I believe that if, if Trump wins, Trump Jr. is going to be groomed for, 20, uh, for, uh, for, for 2024. I think people like Tucker Carlson, Josh Hawley, I think you'll get a whole new group of uh, congressmen and senators who are in that line of Trumpism who are going to come to dominate. I think they'll purge the party of every last person who, uh, who stood up to Trump. And uh, it's going to be a very, very, very different political party uh, in, uh, in the future if, uh, if Trump wins. So, um, and again, you know, I, I, that's my assessment. I might be wrong. And, and I'm sure you guys will point it out. If I turn out to be wrong, you'll point it out to me. But I just don't see any hope for uh, the Republican Party. But look, I, 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 and, and if, if, um, if Trump wins, and I, and I think that we will have then solidified two clear statist alternatives, a Republican Party that is clearly unequivocally statist and a Democratic Party that we know is statist, it's, that, that that's, that's it, that it's, it's done. Uh, somebody says, uh, uh, you know, Ben Shapiro might run. Ben can't win. Ben can't win. He's a religious Jew. Um, he is too good on economics. He's, uh, he's too free market. Um, he, there's no way he can win. Yeah. So anyway, you guys can, um, can hope. You can vote for Trump and hope that the Republican Party uh, can still survive in spite of that. But... Um, I am, I mean, it will survive, but it will survive as a very different party. Very, very different type of party. So, um, and, uh, and, and, and not a party that I think would serve our interest long term, not a party that I think serves American interest long term, not a party that can be an opposition party to the Democrats, to our uh, galloping into statism. 
galloping into authoritarianism. That's what I think the consequence of a Trump victory will be. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbrookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.